back at Golf Tech. Uh, another lesson, another video for you guys. Let's see what we can do. Just about to warm up a little bit, so let's get it warmed up. Okay. If you shoot yourself and you get the impact there, you can see how much more you're going to put the pro here. It's more power. He's going to get the impact. You see his right knee is driving forward to start that downswing? Yeah. So by the time he gets the impact, you can see that knee is. Right so there. First point of contact is right Almost there. Almost like, like parallel to the ball. Yeah, and you see right on top of it. You yeah. Know, yours is not move forward, so yours is back where the contact is. And that's actually back where your ball should be here. So you're hitting behind him. Okay. I'm going to ask you to take a practice room for me. Okay. And let that right knee start to down swing. Okay. So you can feel that right knee coming down first and starting to down swing. The lower what was, body, what was the that? body starts to down swing. Right. So you're driving forward like a pitcher off the mound. Right. Okay. Here, trying to get the weight onto this foot. Okay. Like getting that knee forward, and I'm trying to do is get your heel off the ground. Okay. Weight off that foot. Okay. So technically the ball should be like right here. Right in the middle, yes, sir. Okay. Perfect. Keep your head down and extend. Throw it down to the back. We'll hear that match strike. Match strike, right? Yeah. Maintain your posture. Give me a better bend. Right now you're standing up too hope. You need to feel like you need a little more shoulder bend. Okay. If your shoulder bend was in the low twenties, I need a low thirty section. Okay. That's the ball, right? Right. It's moving forward. There's that knee driving forward. That right foot's coming off the ground. Nice job from down. Down. Have you hit the ground yet, right? Nope. First point of contact. And it's right on top of that ball. You can see now that your knee goes where? Almost, almost right. above the ball, kind of, and instead of behind right it. Yeah, exactly. Right. And if that does stay backwards, if that weight's going to stay backwards, it's going to shallow out your heel attack. And then that's when you exactly. dig underneath it too much. Like that, that angle's gonna come down and crush that ball first. When right. Plant. Right. Sometimes if that weight's back a little bit, the clubs will come in a little shallow. And, and it's gonna it's gonna pop up. up. Exactly. Okay. Swing up on it when you get the top half okay. of the ball or catch the ground first. But what we're trying to do is not try to look, try to shift our footwork again. We're driving forward a little bit. You can maintain your bend as much as possible. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I need to stay there. That's fine. Don't forgive me. Give me a little hinge on the way up. Hinge. Give me a little hinge on the way up. Hinge down too. Okay. I'm out to sweep when I get that hinge up and hinge down. That's what's going to give me that nice stretch. Okay. Oh, nice. First time this year. Really? Why? Why is that so? Just having that. Neck for months now. Oh no. And it's finally able to lift and turn and move like it should. I uh, really had a hard time for a while. All right. Where'd you play? Castle. Oh, okay. We got to play the hill course yesterday. Yeah, that's a 
Haley Kors. Haley Kors, and they just aerated greens, and they're half flooded. They got about half the tees. Some of them are flooded, the holes there, too, still, right? The valley roads, yeah. Yeah. The valley got flooded back there. They have a creek going through there now. Just overflowed. overflowed. <laughs> Everybody's creeks overflowed. <laughs> well, we were, I was supposed to inquire about membership. I played a practice round there just to like see it and test it out. And I liked it because my cousin, two cousins are members there too. So I've been itching, but everything with the remodel that happened and right after the remodel, they got hit with the storm. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait till things are a little more available. And then, yeah, the and then I'll Young professionals. That's what I'm trying to, so I turned 40 in November, so I'm trying to get there before November, so. So that's the goal. And it just makes life a little easier, golfing. Especially if I'm gonna continue to keep playing. I just think. Okay, so if I'm aiming at that dot, it should be like right here. Okay. But I'm not aiming at that dot now, because I feel like now I'm aiming to the left of that dot. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, Right to your pattern, right to your path, right? Yeah. Slightly draw to it. Slightly draw to it. You can start that ball on 11.8 degrees to the right. Okay. With that much of a uh, point of that far, your, your side swing had to be over 2,000 to get it all the way back. <laughs> it's a good swing. Good sw it's a good push drop. What we want. Okay. The path was too far out. 11.8, let's take that path because it moved from here. Came back to here, didn't it? Yeah. So I want to put this about three or f about four degrees out. Oh. About four or five degrees, or so no more than five out. Yeah. Cut that in half what you did. Do the same thing. Okay. That's what we call that face to path relationship, and that's a huge, has a huge effect on where the ball goes. Again, where the club is at impact, is where the ball is going to go, but your path is going to give you the. the so the, the follow through, in, right? And okay. Good pass, a little heavy, right? Yeah, it was a little heavy. One That draw that came back though, nice. that worked out pretty well. See where my lines are? Where your feet should be? You're too wide in your stance. Too wide? Yeah, right there's perfect for the driver. Yeah, fairly wide. Okay. Get like sho it's that's perfect. shoulder width pretty much, right? Yeah, well let me ask you this. When we're hitting that pretty heavy sometimes, right? I'm in shoulder width like this and come through. Contact's too good. Yeah. We get wider. You're gonna dig because you're going lower to the ground, right? And you're getting top shoulder. Yeah. So you're gonna hit behind. If I get too tall, I'm gonna you're gonna top it, up. right? So if I miss it, ball, if I hit it then, I'm always gonna widen it a little bit. Okay. If then I'm shooting back to perfect. No, now you're I'm striking getting, the match. If I get heavy and hit it behind a little bit. I'm gonna narrow a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna take this way. Okay. Makes sense. So if you ever hit a heavier thing, slightly widening or narrowing the steel. So this should be like right around here ish, right? Perfect right there. Okay. You can practice when you get some new match Okay. Too fast. Slow that swing now. Any more to right now. Yeah. From your upper level, this way. See how tall I am? Yeah. So like those little, the little ducks that do this pretty much, right? The great way to do is this. I have the club in my hand, elbows on my side, right my belt buckle. And here I'm just going to bend over until you can sit around. That's a perfect setup right there. Okay. Perfect band, perfect okay. So after you align yourself. Yeah, just a little bit 
texture. Yeah. That felt different with contact too, just you know, it's clean. Okay. It's a little more clean than you with contact, you hit the ball first. But right. If it's too upright, what's gonna happen? You're gonna top it. Top half of the ball hit thin a lot. Right. And then sometimes that won't happen. Then so you're gonna start digging for it after right that. Stay right at that thin level there. Okay. And you swing through at that spot, your contact's gonna be really good like that. Okay. Shallow out that stance. Let's mark our aim. Grip. Okay. Chunked it. Did you move me? And shifting at the same time. You're shifting at okay. the same time. Okay. What's going to happen on the, on the, on the weight shift? Does my upper body turn start moving also? No. No. The time you did, you got to hear that as you're shifting, you're already turning. Okay. You've got to be patient. Okay. okay. If you want to do anything, or do anything at all, as you shift, let it drop a little bit. Yeah. But don't shift forward. Don't, 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 don't turn. turn. Okay. okay. And just that turn, that's going to make you hit it heavy. And come back across it because you can move it up a Right. Okay. That's also going to make me come down like this, too. Yeah, we all want to start at the top. Right. I'm show you pictures of plugs, right? And it starts from the top here. Let's go with Tiger real quick. Okay. This shot, he's perfect about this. He gets right back to here. Perfectly on plane. Boom. Right? Yeah. And then we get high. And right here, if you start to shoot your upper body turning, what's going to happen? Your, your club's going to turn, like yeah. Because yeah, you're going to compensate for that. Correct. And the first thing that moves is just our lower body. Right. If you want anything to happen, then let it drop. So you hear the term drop it in the slot? Not, not, that's the first time I've heard you, it. You'll start hearing the term, oh, he dropped it right in the slot. Okay. It means he's above plane, drops And then it comes right, and click, and right? So watch, he'll make his, his weight shift and do what? His knees okay. coming. Right back yeah. on the plane. Yep. And this is when he starts his acceleration and rips through. Look where his head's at. And then he'll turn up. So again, it's going to be more of a, a drop it in, rip through, right. turn and rotate. Okay. You want to see an exaggeration of this, so I mean, I do it more like this too, like that like copy does. It was like amazed that I could do it. And oh, I'm sorry, that's just how, how it happens. <laughs> I, I got a bad wrist, so I get it real high like he does. And, Look how the club never is inside the plane. The hands are way high. Look how high that is. Yeah. Drop it. Is that, Co is that Kopka? Drop it. See it? Who is that? That's Brooks. Brooks Kopka. Yeah, okay. So look at where his left arm in the shaft or something 90 degrees. And yeah. This is when he starts its acceleration. Whoosh. And then up and turn. Most amateurs are hitting the ball. We're dropping it on the plane, getting to here. Right. Attack through to my waist on the other side, and then lift and turn. Right. So most of everybody else gets to hear the little lift and turn. I don't feel like I come through not set it. Like mm -hmm. Drive through, through it through instead. Through. But the trick is not to try to swing from the top. Right. My upper body does not want to do much. Of it. It's to too it. much momentum coming down yeah, too, right? Yeah, I'm coming here and I got to here and I shift my weight. You see the club's still there and I can swing inside the outside that way. Right. If I get to here and I shift my weight, I'm already turning. That club going outside now it's just from the outside. Across yep, the and then you're going to come across in and out, right? Yeah, I did it. Okay. Maintain your bend, your posture, all the way through impact. Look at okay. that. You work on bowling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when I bowl, what's happening? See, I'm going to come out here. Yep. To here, watch how my shoulder tilts to the right as I release and go out. Right, right. That's what we talked about. Remember the guy in the picture out in the front lobby? Yeah. He gets to here and does what? He bends and tilts all the way out. He's still bending over. He starts to tilt to the right. He doesn't want to come up. Lifting up is where we're getting thin. Right. Once you fuck your stay down, let that okay. shoulder tilt all the way through like a bull. Okay. Got okay. That's one of the drills we're going to give it to you. And it follows through. Okay. It's called a bowler drill. Ball drill? It's bowler. Bowler drill. Oh, bowler drill. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a big thing for me because I always lift up on my club. You need to really come up as early as you can. I'm trying to, I'm asking you to stay down as long as you can and kind of make it, make your shoulder, make everything else bring you Bring, up. yes, okay. I see what you're saying. Come up, make it bring you up so you're linking the arch a little bit.
that went left, but the contact oh, felt okay. Oh, oh. All right, sorry. Can I ask you a weird question? Sure. What's your stronger arm the golf swing, left or right? What's my stronger arm? Yeah. For me, Everybody. I think this one. Everybody. Left hand. Correct. So, you want to kiss your left hand, right? Right hand goes up, pushes that left hand through. I think we did this drill a couple practices yeah, ago. Good. See where my weight's going? Yeah. Power's up? Yeah. So you're doing this. You get to here and just stop. You don't reflect your right hand dominating. You know, okay. Working together, so. So I push with my right, I stay in the middle. If I pull with my left, it makes me want to go forward. Right, and they'll naturally turn you too, right? Okay. It'll make it easier to turn for sure. Yeah, I definitely right. don't do that. Yeah, the you turn makes it a little easier, right? Well, what it does is stop putting emphasis back here. <sighs> It puts the emphasis out here. Yeah, okay. Because you're trying, that that makes you push through, right? Right. Now, as you're accelerating through. <sighs> okay. I see what you're saying. They definitely put my right hand as a dominant hand in that swing, especially on that last shot. I could I could when feel you it. That, when, you stay, when you do the right hand dominant, you stay back. Forward. Right. The left hand also pulls it, forces our weight to go forward. Right. To right. Okay. I think that's a lot of what I was doing at the sim when we went to go play the other day too because I was just upright hitting everything mm. and I was just trying to hack it and it was just not working for me. When you do that, everything else falls into place because that's what the focus, right? That's what's moving the fastest. That's what the emphasis. Your body is going to hold on okay. it that way everything else. So I it's a good me. practice drill to do when you're about to play or before playing at the range is just letting that like individual hand kind of motion right happen. Also, they turn the club around. Those are just, just what is that? What does that initially do? Well, just power out here. here, okay. Power right, because there's no weight on the end of this now at the point. So now right. turn around and throw fourteen ounces of weight so the head of the club. Right, it's gonna yeah, exactly. Okay. Let's try it. Now, where your swing path does go after you put the impact back left. So in other words, you swing out. My came out this way, huh? Yeah, you, you, you went out this way and stayed out this way. You have to remember that path is going out. You're still going to come back a little bit. All right, so you got to kind of bring that, bring the club the path. Circle. Exactly. Right. See, okay. Right again. That makes sense. Okay. When you want to stand up, through. yeah. So, what you do, the way to practice this is get on the, on the range and take on the three quarter swing. You stay down. Mm, okay. When I do the three quarter lift, I'm still, still bent over. Right. What you're trying to do is you're trying to make sure that your my, my body is bent and I'm tilting at the same time. So, I'm doing both. Okay. okay. I'm going to take a couple practice swings. Tilt so that your right shoulder drive to me. As you come to impact, tilt through and let the right shoulder drive to me. Very strange. Okay. Now. Because <laughs> I'm slowing it down. I'm trying to slow it down. Remember, you're not matching that ball. Exactly. Okay, right shoulder, right? Okay. That time you cut off the thing to here. If you can follow up, just got to get a little more. Force yourself to go out that, that all that path out there. But I don't want to go out too far though. Yeah. Set up again. Do me a favor. Okay, you ready? Now that club fish is at the target, not at the path. Right. The target, right there from the place. And then turn up that path, please. Okay. Right the goal, so watch it. Set, the, the, no, set up the, the tee. Put the club on the tee. Square to the, to the black dot. Cool. Take a grip. 
Fantastic. And as we come through here, my friend, let's get that club back to the t to, the, to the square to the target. You're into the dot. Swing right to the dot. The ball will come up pretty darn straight. Okay. Back to here. Swing it to the dot again. Swing out to the right to the GLL, and you can see how the club face is close to the path it has to draw for you. Right. Do the same thing. It's squared up again at the path, right to the dot again. This time I'm swinging out to the left. And this is what's going to happen. Your club, this one's going to hit you. You're not going to turn it turn over. Yeah. That ball's going to fade back all three times with another club face is pointing to the dot of impact. Right. Correct? Right. What's happening here is you're getting back to impact here, and your club face is pointing to the path instead of being to the target God, as yeah. I swing out. Okay. okay. So what you okay. do is you're starting the ball right and going right. That's a push fade. Yep. Have you ever have we talked about the nine ball front laws of golf? No. What? What? I'm failing myself. I'm failing you. That's okay. I'm <laughs> you are not failing me at all. Trust me. There are nine ball flat laws in golf. One, dead straight. Two, is a draw. Three, is a fade. Four, is a straight pull left. Five, is a pull draw. Six is a pull fade, which is a slice. Seven, push straight right. Eight is your push fade. Nine is your push draw. And that's what we're trying to hit, a slight push draw, right? Right. So every time you see a ball, all your balls start on the right side of the line. That yeah. tells me that your spring path is inside to outside. Fantastic. The ball starts on the left side of the line, it tells me your club face here going outside to inside. So you're getting going inside to outside, which is great. So the more close you keep it, the more drawback you're going to get right. towards the ball. So if you want the ball, you're swinging to the right, you want that ball coming back to the left, the club face has to be pointed left of where you're swinging to. Okay. It's the only way you look at that. Okay. So basically the club head has to stay like this throughout the entire impact pretty much. So when you do that, yep, you come back here, and the second comes back and you get it right square to here. Right. Right there, nice and square. When we swing out to the GO, you can see how the club face is going to be close to that because it's pointing at the target. Okay. If I do the same thing, Square up again and go right to the target, straight up and down, they go pretty straight. Yeah. Uh, again, I can do the same thing, get to here, and swing yeah. out to the left. left, and guess what? It's going to come back to the target on the fade. All right. three times, because all three times the club is just going there. Okay. So this, the common denominator, my friend, is what? Square the club, Square the the club up to the target. I don't care which way you swing, because it's going to okay. come back to the target. And then the one thing I always remember is when you told me keep this hand on like your shoulder, like the on the side, right? Yeah. And when it hits your side, that's a that's good... That's when you release it. Yeah. This. What you're doing is take that back again. No, set up here. Take the club back. Stop. Look over here. See the club is open? Yeah. We want it at no more than 90 degrees. Okay. So if I get it to 90 degrees, now turn it back. It's going to come back that's square. That's about as hot much as If I get it more than 90, and then try to come back, I just can't quite try. square it up in time. Got it. Many okay. pros will do this. It's even less than square, so yeah. close, and that makes it so much easier to square it up at impact. Uh, okay. The more I open it, the That's, more I have to close it. Okay. You better have boxes. Yeah. Close that fast, right? Okay, see, because I'm naturally going like this, right? And so maybe... You can stop right there. See how this now is pointed away from you. Right. Club face is square. You want to let that back to the left hand go up, which opens the club face. I get that back to here. But we talked about turning this down. Right. Because the club is now. Back of your left hand is facing the target, right? Right. Beautiful. Back of the left hand, turn it down. Turn your left hand down. Exactly. Turn that down to square this club face up. Okay. We can look this we talked about doing this. Right. Right. So then it, it in in essence, if, if you have a habit of opening up too much and not being able to compensate to come back, can you kind of leave the club head closed, like you said? Okay. Not closed, but you know no, what I mean. No, like no, no, instead of shut up, shut up. instead of like over light grip pressure. Let me swing it and feel me, okay? Okay. Come back here, come this way. Which way that ball go? Left. Look where the club face is. Yeah. Never opened it. That's my draw. 1300 left. 1200 left of us, right? Uh, right. I never turned, we never opened my club face. Yeah. Very easy to close it again because it's already hit or open. Okay. The more it opens, the more you're going to time it. And that's where that timing becomes. So if you're Got opening, it. we call it thingy. If I get to your end up square, I'm great, but if I let that club face open at that point, we call it thingy. That means you're going to know you got to come back, degrees, right? 120 degrees, I have to close it's it. a lot, lot more, more to come. Chance. Exactly. Left cross, right cross. <laughs> I'll add that in my video too, don't worry. Follow oh, through with that shoulder. Yeah, relax. Plus, if you want the ball to draw more, how come I can only see one left on your right left hand? That's and true. Okay. Two dots that we put on the right. 
And they hit that same shot even before John back to the problem because your grip was just a little bit weak. So that's one reason why you couldn't close it up because your grip was also weak. Now it looks much better. Yeah. At least you got that ball to turn back. A little heavy. You definitely hit a draw there, about 500 left draw. Wow. I did come back. Oh, okay. Beautiful ball strike. It's a little heavy, right? Yeah. Slow down the up and down. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what you're so tempted. I love the drop shape. Not really rough, I don't know. Heaviness. 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 That means. Lighten the grip. Exactly. Yeah, a little bit. Lighten the grip pressure, too. Okay. Nope. Didn't turn it over. I felt it because I left my. I left my. Well, meaning like my hands were like this. That's okay. I know. But you would keep hitting over here. You need to tighten that. You tighten it. I'm only trying to hit about right there, man. Okay. We're pushing a little too far right. So every time you start that ball 12 degrees right, I want to start at 3, 4, 5 degrees right. Okay. I far. see. Those are the shots we want right there. Bro. Yeah, that one felt nice. Yeah, too. Nice one all the way through. Nice little. I concentrated on that. Where are you swinging to? Right? That was a big backwards. thing for me. Yeah, that was it. You didn't try to force it either. You didn't try to, you know, I was going to my French humping it. Didn't try to swing so hard and pull so hard. Yeah. That time you swept the club in. Loosening the grip. I think that's, I put yeah, way too much tension on my grip. How much that is. Imagine if you just got like a bolt. Have you seen the mailboxes on the country road? Yeah. They have a little red flag that pops up. Yeah. That's just a piece of metal painted red. It's got a bolt and a screw holding on. If you screw that screw too tight, guess what? Yeah. I can't get it. If you right. Loose. I'm not gonna let them drop just a little bit. Now this thing go up and down. No problem. That's right. What we want to happen. Okay. Your, I don't want to fall off. But Good analogy. Move, right. Yeah. Yeah. The nice light blood pressure will allow you to release it easier. I think shallowing that stance out is also helping a little bit too, so I don't feel like I'm having to stand on top of the ball so much. Oh. Everything was great. You just up and down too fast one time. Yeah. Slow that swing now. Yeah. I'm already lifting up so much. Yeah, I'm not staying down at all on it. Look at how much I lift up. You're right there at impact. When you get your set up here, you're at 30 degrees. Children. Not bad. More than 32 to 40, but that's better. So that means you are... But I gotta stay down through the you swing too. That's that's impact. the problem. Watch what happens when you come to impact here. You get to impact and you stand up. So you step yeah, right over yeah. right your ears right there on the line. Yeah. The impact you stand up, and that's what's causing that little bit of inconsistent contact. Yep. Also making that kind of release a little bit of lap too. Just in here. It's okay. Okay. Three quarters through. Don't want it to be hard. You got to there and just stop right there. Push it up to the right. I don't care how far it goes right. Okay, it's turned up here. Right. Here, here, here. That three quarters from here, here. So if you went to the point of you want to go, control. When you hit a couple good ones, start to get long. It's a great and warm up in the range. Our first 10, 10 swings or 12 Three quarter three, swing? Three quarter swing. Okay. And then I'll slowly start to get it from here. That gets you to start striking that match a little bit, right? It gets the ball striking good okay. real quick. And then I elongate the swing. I take the first full swing. I've got confidence already. Okay. I've already hit some good shots already before you go That's a good thing. Swing. Hear that, people? Good tip. Three quarter swing, ten shots out the driving range before you play. Three contact, way too far inside down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, slow that swing down. So that means we came back, but we just didn't. I don't want you to put that before the morning your stance. All you gotta do now is that's it. You know, I gotta turn my stance now, you're here. What can I do? I move backwards a little bit. That's all. Same stance, same everything. I do only do anything different about turning or opening. Okay. So you're you're lined up like this, and the ball is hitting your stance right now, and that's going to cause a lot of balls going right because the club face as you come down. It's still like that. It's opening, yep. and as it comes through, it's closing. And back my stance is to have the club, but when I get more towards front of my stance, it's already open. So I'd like to see the club more centered. Even if we have to go backwards, well, get a little more centered. I'm not afraid to get the thing up, up forward and hit, hit the ball high or take off a few yards. Okay. Hit so high. I just think I do that because I turn my body and then I don't compensate for moving it to the center, right? Right. 
Because like now it's now it's in the center of my stance, right? But now I'm aiming over here though, right? So set the club down. To this now, align yourself to the to the path, your body. Then take a grip from it. When you're ready, take this one. I'm staying down on the ball now no, this time. Not, this is not, 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 not to rotate. Okay. You're squeezing, you're squeezing you squeeze tight, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. I want to be nice, light grip pressure, and I want you to let turn a little earlier than you want. Okay. If you turn over that's right, that light that, grip that, pressure. Path, just bring this a little bit earlier for you. Start that, that turn down a slight bit higher. Now I need you to move like this. Ready? An inch or two closer to the golf ball. Now take this way closer. This should make it a little taller too, right? No, that should allow the farther away. If I get a little closer, I should stand up a little bit, should it? Right. Trust that, right down that path is. Not exact, but... Our uh, path was good, it was good, it's just a little heavy, right? Yeah. Okay, give me a feel. That means that maybe the stance was too wide? Try, yeah, it could be good. Give me a feel, line up this ball for me. Tell me when you're ready. Right. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the target or the path? Uh, target. There you go. Take your grip, tell me when you're ready. Feeling good? Yep. Cool. Okay. God damn. Okay, there you go. Line up to the back wall for me. Line up to the back to wall? The back wall. Okay. okay Commit to your path and hit that ball from your first. That one felt nice. It was actually an easy house swing. Look at this. Watch this. Watch Patrick, Mr. Reed on the left screen. Watch his left hand right now. Look how fast this rotates over there. It's already yeah, closed, it's already it? closed, yeah. How about Mr. Woods with the driver? Same thing. We got a driver's hand, man. Watch this. Back of the left hand is facing us. Turn it over, tie it, rotate it over, turn. So fast that so his right hand's already on top and your left hand's still on top. That's why yeah. this is closed and yours is still open. Okay. okay. What you're doing right now, take a grip for me. Yeah. What you're doing is you're getting back to impact and you're doing a pretty good job of scoring up at impact. Coming back to impact, doing a pretty good job of in here and then stopping your turn and then swinging through it so it has to look. Yeah. And even after impact, you want to come through it, turn and keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Yeah, even if it goes to there, hook it one. That's okay. great. Okay. Keep it turned over like that. You feel an impact, you can't stop rotating. Okay. Even through impact, it's still going all the way over. Miss line, but. Right, it came back though a little bit. That's just because I knew I needed. I knew I needed to turn over. Like because I am doing. I could, you could. I could completely feel it when I finish my swing because I'm still like this. Right. If you do that, you get a right spin. Right. Trying to get the ball spin forward. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Coverage is nice. Just hit a little fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watch this. That could be also because I'm standing too far away from the ball right again. There. No offense. What the hell is that? <laughs> no wonder you're hitting the ball so heavy. What the heck is that, dude? Your hands are at your waist, his hands are at his waist. Do you see the difference there? Yeah, that club head needs to come. It's up. Yeah. Down, so what's going to happen when you're down? I take the club down like that, I'll take it low, I'll come in low, take the ground and hit it on the rail. Right. Find a way, you have a garage, you have wood, wood in the side walls or 
It's a it's, um, sheet rock. Okay. You got a backyard, you got a fence? Well, we live in an apartment. Okay. You can go in the garage and don't get up your sheet rock. Yeah. You put it put in front of it, but I get about this far away and practice my takeaway. I don't want to lift my hands up because I'll hit the right about knee height. Right. I'll come in shallow, hit the ground, and catch them all up. That's because I'm not hinging, huh? I'm not hinging right about here, and if I start to hinge right there. Got it. There's no wall. Right. Plus that contact gets pretty good, right? Good, right. You got me pretty well, my friend. Now you've the wall turned over quite a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now quite if I turn down or we can make that point of this. Yeah, and slowing the swing down a little bit too. Because I I try I don't know why it's just crank 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 is all I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Square up and then and then once it squares, so it's like you said from waist to waist, right? There's your turnover period, right? So. <laughs> That's my ammo. That that. Also, I think the ball, like ball placement in my stance, has also been pretty shitty. I think that also. Yeah, I think it hasn't really been the best of placement in my stance most of the time. All right, two knuckle, slow. Uh, now do me a favor. This one. I'm gonna challenge you to put it way forward in your stance. So way forward in your stance. So okay. Hit one for me to see what happens. Okay. Well, your ball a lot more forward in your stance. More. There. Yeah. Hit one there. Even more. <laughs> Come on. More. More. Go back for more. Really? Yes. Dude, I'm. But that's like almost near my front foot. I will hit balls from here, this far in front of my foot. Really? A mile high, yeah. Hit this ball to half. Okay. But like, don't don't you often when you do this, like, don't you feel like you're setting up to the left a lot, or do you just I'll, you just okay. center? I'm looking at my path. I know the club's okay. at the target, and I'm worried about my path. Okay. okay. I know the club's at the target, right? My, you might take the touch. You know what to do. I can touch it. When you lay it down, it's going to be funny. Okay. No, nope. opened up. The other thing closed. Yeah. Let's look at the screen here. So technically, how far forward in your stance is that? Not too much. <laughs> you think it's like up here, don't you? Yeah. It's not. That's weird. Isn't it? A little bit, yeah. And you're like, whoa, I thought it was way forward. I was way forward. Okay, so now it makes sense why you say it's all like... I mean, throw it way forward, way so too if I'm, forward. So if I'm, like, go let's say more. I'm just... Go back more, go back more. Yeah, now hit that ball from there. Just for fun, see that? <laughs> but I'm, I'm not aiming at the I dot. Okay. Speak. Just uh -huh. hit a solid shot, swing up that towards your path if you can. That's where you're lined up to, and that's a really nice, really nice nut shot. Do the same thing, you line up. As fun in the stance as, okay. Yeah, okay. line up this way this time. Line up on this thing, don't line up on that. What you're doing there, okay? Cool, set up and tell me when you're ready. Feel good? Yep. Just want to make sure your shoulders are there, nice. Press that path before we don't take that. That's right there. I'm tired. Better did you hit that ball. Yeah. It's a little softer. And it's still rolling this way. It's still rolling this way. Show you that shot. It's a beautiful high draw. That time you started at nine degrees out and brought it all the way back. And look, being a slightly bit forward. I know it's now look at the stance. How much forward is that really? Yeah, really right not screen? too much. That's a ball forward. It's side weird side. how it feels different when you're above it than when you're actually looking at it from the side like that. Because that's not even as far front as I thought it was. Because I really thought I was, I'm setting up a, like on my front foot. That's almost centered, man. That's why I want you. You had it before, though, Michael. You had it back here. Back, yeah. And that's how far back it was. And that's why you're having a hard time catching the ground. Okay. Okay. One more good one. All right. Lined up. Okay, no, especially with that ball, it's so like, so deceiving, dude. It's like, crazy deceiving. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can I hear one more? Yeah. I was not happy with that. You're up and down too fast. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, last one. Slow that swing down. Loosen that. Path was there. It's no, not the contact. You just, to, you just have to slow it down to top. Okay. We're getting a little too quick. Ooh, one okay. More. Okay. I'm a better hand than my butt from the crease. Can you take one? Okay. Well, you get the hinge up in the place, and you're really more about the contact than you're about how far you hit it. You don't care how far it goes. That's what you should do. You make a good swing, good contact, and the ball will be right left. How long do you need this? Yeah. And that's okay, you went from having a big push. To yeah, no, push. yeah. Now, now, if you can hit the same swing and commit to going out to, to right, you're going one more. Okay. Right? And commit to your path this time, that's going to be the difference of it, is commit to that path. Close it out, part of the right, And they would fade on you. Now you're afraid to start out to the right, because you're afraid. Now you get the same swing, start out to the right, and you know it's going to draw back. Gonna, you just gotta know so then my club path is end like at the G ish kind of and then come through, and right? Club should be close to the G because it's facing the top. Right. right. Loosen that swing up. Loosen that grip up. Yeah. Get the speed going up all right here. Okay. What you'll, what you'll find is when you do that, your <coughs> head will stay down long because your club's going this way. Go, so yeah. Have to pick up Instead the of picking. At the same time. Yep. So you can keep that path like that, you'll be fine. Cool. You're trying to draw hit draws now. Push draws from what we want. That's good. Thank I'm you very much. Um, what you have to do is, I hate to say it, throw the range. Practice. Get a few buckets of balls. Yeah. Right? Okay. And you get that three quarter swing down, all you have to do now is get a long day at the arc. You have to hit it harder, you have to do it more. You get your long day in the arc when you, when you go up there. You long, you hit full swings, right? I'll help you out. Alright, peoples. Another golf tech episode done. Yesterday I had a